trim and extend the trim and extend commands are opposites you can invoke the opposite command while running either by holding the shift key from your keyboard this method is specially helpful because trim and extend are often used together so from one command to another command we can move or you can shift using the shift key on your keyboard so you know that in case of trim let us suppose there is a line and that is another line you can select this line as the cutting edge and you can cut this extended portion of the line so that is known as the trim and that is a one line and that is another line you want to extend this line so that this line will meet to this line that is known as the extend so let us go for one practical demonstration that how to use this trim and extend commands in our autocad drawing so here is the demonstration here we are going to discuss two commands one is the trim another one is the extent so let me draw some drawing and where we will be applying those commands I'm drawing one line here drawing circle drawing another line and drawing another circle here so another circle I have drawn now I want to remove that portion of this lines which are falling here and also which are falling here so let me show you this one I am going for the command trim so in case of trim at first I am supposed to find out the cutting edges so here I am selecting this circle and this circle as a cutting edge and I want to cut this section I can also cut this section I, ca I can also cut this section so I am cutting this section this one this and this so in this way this stream is allowing us to cut a certain portion of one object here this line we have cut so now let us go for another one so I am drawing one circle here I am going for a circle say so I am specifying this one I am also taking this one only at these two corners I'm drawing one circle okay okay now see here I'm going for trim once again and here I'm just selecting this line this line and this line as the cutting edges these three lines as the cutting edges and then right click now I'm selecting this one so that it will get cut so in this way in case of trim we are going to select that portion of the line or circle or respective drawing object whose portion has to be cut out and that will be erased partially so now we are going to discuss the command extend so let us draw one line here let us draw one line so I'm drawing one line here so this is the line I have drawn and this line I want to extend this line to the inner and outer circle sections now see I'm going for extent so we are having this option command is extend select objects so select the boundary edges actually so I'm selecting this one as the boundary edge I'm selecting this one as the boundary edge then going for enter or right click if I select this one you see this line is getting extended up to that limit but but if I push if I just press the uh, key shift and then if I come on this particular line here you see this extent is working as a trim this extent is working as a trim so in the first uh, case I'm going for the extent at first so I'm going for this extent I'm not pressing the shift key on my keyboard so it has got extended okay now I'm going for undo 
and then I'm going for extend one again once again so I'm going for extend so now this is my boundary edge I'm selecting this is my boundary edge so this is my boundary edge I've selected now you see when I shall go for enter and when I'm supposed to select the object to extend or shift select to trim if I press shift then either this section will get deleted will be trimmed or this section I'm selecting this one so in this way the extent can also be used for the trimming of an object so in case of trim we are supposed to use TR TR is the short form of trim in case of extent we are supposed to use EX because EX is the short form of extent so in this video we have discussed about trim and extent thanks for watching this